Okay, so in order to use the Korg SQ1 sequencer to control the CV one volt per octave uh, on the DPO for the Make Noise Shared System, the first thing that you're going to do is plug the CVA out into the one volt per octave like that. And then if you want, you can plug the gate into the mass and get a little bit of an envelope going. So we'll do that here. I'm going to put it into the input. And then I'm uh, going to run these into the optomics. So we will take the output of maths, put it into the input, the control input of the Optimix, and the final, you can take any of these waves, uh, but we'll go with the final into the input of the Optimix, and have these set like this so that we can control it, and then we'll just take the output of the Optimix out so we can hear it. Then over on the computer, we set the MIDI from to the key station. We've got a keyboard right here that's plugged in with USB into the computer. And then MIDI 2, we have the SQ1 shows up twice with the MIDI out and the control. We're going to use the control. So we set that, make sure it's set to record, and then that sound. So this works. Now we can use this to control the fall time and the rise time. We can also use the computer and send MIDI clips to the sequencer. So when we do this, go ahead and hit play. Usually, sequencer will run automatically and just stop that and we get the MIDI that's already on If you want to see this patch in action, uh, check out this video where I use the keyboard to control the DPO. And if you want to see more videos like this, as well as performance videos, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks a lot. Bye.